Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Wang, the host of Making Sense of Science channel. Immunotherapy is revolutionizing current cancer care and transforming oncology practice around the world. Dr. Steven Rosenberg, Chief of Surgery at the National Cancer Institute, NIH, is regarded as the father of cancer immunotherapy. Join me at the second part of the interview with Dr. Rosenberg to hear his own perspectives about the challenges and the future direction of adaptive cell immunotherapy. Despite significant improvement in treating lymphoma and the leukemia, what are the challenges facing the adaptive cell immunotherapy now and in the next few years? Last year, 600,000 Americans died of cancer, despite the best application of the treatments we have. So there's a desperate need for new treatments. Immunotherapy, I think, is going to impact on that. It already has for certain diseases like uh, lymphomas, like melanoma and kidney cancer. But the common epithelial cancers, the cancers that start in the lining of the organs of the body, like the colon, the esophagus, the stomach, the pancreas, the ovary, those solid cancers are the major cause of cancer death in this country. And I think immunotherapy is beginning to make important inroads, but there's a long way to go in finding curative treatments for those kinds of cancers. Which special area have you focused on to make progress in treating common solid cancers? And it's only in the last several years that we've found T cells, TIL, that can recognize and destroy those, uh, those tumors. So we're trying to apply TIL to the common cancers. Now we first developed it in patients with melanoma, 30% of, of whom can be cured by getting these TIL cells. So I would expect TIL therapy to get approval as a salvage therapy for patients with metastatic melanoma sometime in the next one to two years, I would imagine. Uh, and depending on how quickly we can make progress in the more solid cancers, uh, hopefully a lot more to come quickly. In addition to make the tail-based therapy more effective, what other progresses in this field will be made in the near future? The major area I think we're going to be making progress in in, in the next decade or so is going to involve genetic engineering of the immune system and sometimes the body itself. That is, we can take genes from almost any organism, any, uh, any species, and introduce them into human cells to give them properties that have never existed before as the immune system uh, evolved. And the more we can do that, the more we can tailor make these immune warriors, these lymphocytes, to have the exact functions that we want. So we can now insert genes quite easily using retroviruses. We can now take genes out, cutting them with CRISPR technology or other technologies for gene editing. And I think this manipulation of the body's own natural DNA to help the body combat disease is going to be a very important area in the future. It's quite often that people underestimate the importance of basic research. What's the role that basic cancer research has been playing? I think it's important that the public understand the need for basic research. Very often, they'll read in the newspapers of the very final step of a development of a new treatment that's showing success, and yet there's very little about the many years, sometimes decades, that it took to get to that point. And so I think the organization and letting people know that research takes time, it requires funding, uh, there are many side avenues that one has to explore and have the freedom to explore when one is making, uh, attempting to make progress. So I think stable funding for a long period of time can be very important for, to build new ideas into effective, effective treatments for patients. That's a formula for, for new advances that can take us in entirely, entirely productive directions. Actually, that's the formula NFCR has been following in the past 48 years to support basic and clinical research by providing stable and long-term funding. Dr. Rosenberg, thank you for your decades of efforts and the great contributions you made to cancer immunotherapy. Oh, thank you. To watch more video like this, subscribe to this channel now so you will be notified when they are available. I'm Dr. Michael Wang. Thank you for watching and see you next time.